Hey, you guys. How are you? Let me know if you're on. I just wanted to get a view of the water. Because guess what? I'm not in Illinois anymore. So say hi. Tell me what you're drinking. I got my special cup because I'm in the Florida. No one's watching me today. Maybe you are and I can't see you. <clears throat> I think I'm connected. Gosh, I would be really sad if I can't see any. Oh, there, there. Okay. I see Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Now they're coming up. Good morning, Kelly. Oh, you're over at the nest. Someone needs to be there. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Vita. <laughs> Vita and I have been talking this morning about where I am because she saw my picture. So, oh, you're having coffee? Good. Me too, Michelle. Mine's extra loaded. So, uh, so we drove through the night. We decided to take off early. Hi, Lou. How are you? Hi, Gail. How are you doing? So I'm going to, I'm going to shut that door just because they've been mowing outside. Hold on. I forgot to do that. Sometimes it gets a little noisy. So I just was teasing you by, <laughs> so, so hi Mary Jo. How are you doing? Hi Debbie. Are you in Florida? Cause you're usually in the Carolinas, right? Hi Linda. It's a nice view for sure. Debbie, where are you? Are you in Florida? Where are you at? So we, we have this house down here that was actually, um, I've been coming down here since I was a little girl. My grandparents um, put this house in this mobile park in about, hi Tanya, about 1969 or 70. They built the house. I have the plan, so I think it said 69. And so I was pretty young then. We used to come down, I think I can remember coming down here at Christmas time. I forget where my camera is. Coming down at Christmas time and um, you know how they ride the tricycles? They have the three, the big three wheelers. So we would come down and ride those. And uh, of course we still have one here. So kind of fun. Hi mom. How are you? Hi Kathleen. Hi Eva. Gosh, lots of people are on today. Y'all wanted to see where I was, I bet. Oh, you're north of Tampa. We're south. About an hour and 15 minutes. Hi, Margie. So then um, when my grandparents died, my dad bought out his two sisters. And then my dad passed away about, um, I don't know, about five years ago. And my two, there's four girls. And so my oldest sister and I, she, she if she was watching, she, which she doesn't watch me, she would hate that I said that my older sister. But um, two of us bought out the other two. And so we share it. So we came down since no one had been down since covid and wanted to check on the house. We actually have the air conditioner maintenance guy here now um, working on the, just the, you know, yearly maintenance since we were here. So we got to do all those things, you know, we got bugs and, and pest control and all that. So um, I wish you guys were all sitting around this table with me. I really do. And uh, yes, we're about 45 minutes south of Sarasota. We went there yesterday. Bradenton. Okay. You're like my neighbor. So you're a little farther north. That's cool. I'm so glad that you're on. That's nice, Kathleen. Uh, you have family in Venice. So Venice is about 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes away. Uh, 15 or 20. It's not very far. And uh, so that's just north of us, too, on the way to Sarasota. So um, we went and uh, did a little kayak shopping yesterday and um, found some that we want to try out. So um, I am... We put a deposit down on one and then tomorrow we're going to go for a demo day and I actually get to try one out with pedals because I've, I've only paddled and I've never pedaled. But the guy, I wanted one that I could do both and the guy goes, listen, once you pedal, you're going to be like, why? I don't want to paddle. So I, I kind of probably agree with him because when you, if you haven't kayaked for very long and then you do, then, um, you know, you're really hurting across the shoulders. And I, with my arthritis, I already am hurting all the time anyway. So, so um, yeah, so that's what we're doing. So we really haven't had a minute rest. We've been going, going, going. So, oh, you go down to Casey Key. Lou says she goes down to Casey Key. I, yes, I do. I really seriously wish you guys were here. 
I, I told um, uh, Bonnie this morning that I would make up the spare bed if she comes down. So uh, maybe we have to have a girl. Maybe we have to have um, Emmy three C's here in Florida. Who wants to come? What's the difference on what? I missed you, Eva. I'm not sure. Were you talking to me or someone made a comment? I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I, I'm lost. So anyway, um, so that's what I'm doing. And I think we're going to be down here for probably through the month of March. So, but I'm going to start. Hi, Beth. Good morning. Yes, we do need a retreat, Vita says. So um, I'm going to try to do business as usual. Um, I'm going to keep my lives. And I have actually good, um, I think, well, I'll say good, normal internet. So, um hopefully oh paddle and pedal so a paddle the paddle that you i can't i don't i forget where my camera is so that you paddle and then there's pedals like a bicycle but they go back and forth back and forth and they have rudders underneath so um normally kayak wouldn't have rudders underneath so um my husband got a fishing kayak and it has rudders and it actually can turn 360 degrees um, the one I'm looking at has just got forward and reverse, but it's more recreational because I, I don't plan to do as much fishing. He's got a fishing kayak. So, um, you want to, Casey Key, I'm not sure if the Casey Key's, um, on the other side or near Miami or down by the Keys. I'm not sure. So, as long as, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Kathleen, we should do that. Definitely fun. So anyway. This is where I'm at. So um, I thought that today we could um, kind of continue um, with my favorite new suite. I know you. I don't. I don't think you can get enough of it. I'm just telling you that these butterflies are awesome. So I know you already heard me. So I'm going to take you down to my desk, and I actually did a um, swap with um, some other demonstrators and um, oh it's by Sarasota okay all right well cool well we're, we're very very close we could be neighbors you come and let me know when you're gonna be here and we'll, we'll meet up so I um, did a swap with um, trip achiever uh, demonstrators and I picked out I got a lot but I picked out my four favorite to show you today so that if you um, I know a lot of you have purchase the butterfly butterfly brilliant stamp set or bundle and this way you have some idea so um do whatever you need to do kelly take a snapshot of the screen or whatever because some of these are so gorgeous so um i'm going to tell you who made them so this one's by ruth bingle does it say where she lives no i'm not sure where ruth lives but um hi faith that's okay too but it doesn't matter hi sandy um, yeah, this card gorgeous. So um, they took the the detailed butterfly dies and put a mask down and sponged around or used. It looks like they used a dauber. Um, you know, you could use your new blending brush. And then they've attached one of the detail dies in white um, on top of it and then did some splattering. It's really pretty. Here, I'll put it down so you can see the whole card. So that's one that Ruth made, and then she added some bling. You gotta have bling. This is probably my favorite. Um, I'm not sure why it's my favorite, but I really, really like it. So these are the um, tasteful texture dies, and um, I know that because I'm gonna be. Ha I have a class going on right now, and these were two of the dies that I did not use in the class, but I love them. But the only reason I didn't is because the greetings that are in the set that I'm using did not fit in. The, these either of these circles so and I'll show you those cards here in a minute um, but I love these colors I love the um, clips of coral and the pink together um, here she's used some of that ribbon that we colored last week um, right here so oh I just want to remind you to make sure you're commenting because um, the card that I create here in a few minutes then um, of course I give it away so I do a random comment generator um, usually um, it's usually over the weekend. I'll just say Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. I give people time to comment, even if you're watching um, later. Hi, Carla. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> oh, Eva wants to know if Gail's ready to go. Come on. Come on down. We got 
I got two twin beds that aren't even being used. I'll make them up for you, girls. Go ahead. Come on down. Um, then, of course, my phone's going to ring right now, too. Luckily, I got out my watch. See, it's, it's spam. That's got to be spam, right? 386? I don't know what that is. So, um, <laughs> my daughter, if she's watching, she'll go, Mom, you're talking too much. Um, I forgot what I was saying. I totally forgot. Anyway, oh, I give away the card, so make sure you comment. We do a random comment generator. I give time for people to um, comment, um, you know, throughout the weekend. You don't have to be watching live. So then um, if, I, if I pick your name, I'll post it, and I will um, send it to you. And um, if I don't have your address, that's fine. I'll PM you and get it, and then I'll mail it out. So um, keep commenting. The more you comment, the more chances you are you have. So this one is from um, Angie Leach, and I like the simplicity of this, and it's so bright and cheery, right? So she, this is similar to ones I've shown you, where she's, this is one stamp, she stamped the background, and then she colored, um, this one is stamped and colored, this is not, I don't think she cut this out of paper, no, she did not. So she colored these herself um, with her blends, and then there is Wink of Stella, I don't think you can see it, it's not the same lighting as when I'm in the nest, but... And then she added some bling and some ribbon. I just think it's so pretty. Okay, here's kind of a wow using um, blends on the paper. And um, then what she's done is she spritzed the whole thing. You can see it on the black. I don't think you can see it here. I don't have good light. So um, she spritzed it with probably um, a spritzer with the... Um, Oh gosh, you guys, shimmer paint and alcohol. And so it's got this shimmer all over it. And then um, the greeting, happy birthday in a ribbon. So, so pretty. And this is from Patty Chanel. And Patty is in Connecticut. And what is funny, she lives on Champagne Street. So that's kind of cool, right? Because we know Champagne's my neighbor's town. So, okay, so those are my four, four of my favorite swaps. But I have more and I'll show you. Um, not today, but probably on um, a different... There, I'm not even in the screen. I'm, I'm like not even in the screen. All I can see is the water. But I was talking to you about um, the class that I have coming up. Or I, the class I have ongoing now, I only have 10 spots and about half of them are already sold out. Um, because these are using um, stamp sets and paper from Celebration. And so this is what I have left. And if you want information about that, PM me, but you can also look on my Create With Me page under events and you'll see the, um, oh, what is, what did I call it? Birthdays for a year. So this one, th with this kit, you could make birthday cards for, oh, I bet you could make at least 40, let's see, there's 20, 48 cards at least, at least. Some don't even use a full half sheet of paper. So um, probably more than that. You could sit down and make birthday cards for a year or two years with this. And um, it's only $100 or $99. I don't know. You have to go look. So I'm going to show you some of those cards because as I was making them, everyone just seemed prettier and prettier. So um, they're fit. So I've got six fancy folds and here's the, here's the fancy folds. So that one was pretty. And then here's, um, it's using approaching perfection and the paper and you get everything. You get the stamp set, you get the ink, you get the paper, you get the bling. Um, the only thing you have to supply is your own adhesive. And um, this one reminds me kind of the flower power. I've shredded the ribbon. Um, super, super cute. Everything's decorated. I'll show you. Here's another fancy fold. So I show, I'm going to show you in the tutorial and do a video tutorial. You'll get everything in the um, kit. Look at this. So this is super cute. Um, using, showing you how to use stamps in a different way. So this is actually the birthday candles and I've made it into a little um, strip because you've got your flowers that cover it. So thinking outside the box. Um, I love this one. This is using some of the paper and flowers. Oh, nothing in there. So I guess you get to make your own message. Here's another fun fancy fold. So you just lift up the little leaf and this pops out, but it then opens up into a card too. So you'd sit it on your desk like so, just so you can see. And then it, you, to close it, you would just put that leaf and then it folds flat. Um, masculine cards too. So here's, uh, you know, there's ideas that you're 
you maybe um, aren't thinking about. So, you know, cutting the paper on a diagonal. Um, here's one using another fancy cut. So here's a little triangle card. You can get two out of a piece of paper. Here's another one that could be masculine. So I've tried to give you, I don't know if I showed you them all. I grabbed what I had, but there's, I'm going to have 10 designs. And so um, if that's something you're interested in, I think there's only five kits left. So um, don't wait. We're going to uh, end that. I'm going to end that here, I think, on the 21st. I'm not sure. So double check the event um, or until it's sold out. When it's sold out, it's sold out. So, um, so yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get a little coffee because all I feel like I'm doing is chatting, chatting, chatting. So, okay. All right. So do you want to do some stamping? I have a fun, another fancy fold for you. And of course, like I said, I'm using the butterfly. So get your pencil and your paper out. I'll give you a second to get that because I'm going to give you some measurements. Okay. Because I think this is one that no matter if you have the butterflies or if you, you oh, wait, I'm looking at the comments. Kathleen says she needs to finish her projects. Finish your, pro what are you working on, Kathleen? Something special, card or uh, scrapbooking? Are you a scrapbooker? Before she plays with the butterflies, okay. Uh, sorry, I just like to look at the, um, I like to look at the comments. I just don't wanna um, miss them because I think they were a little delayed and now they're coming in pretty fast. So um, because of the program I use, I can't see everyone who's on. I can just see, um, you're only when you comment. So if you don't comment, I can't, I can't see it. So um, just because of the way it is. I'm a regular Facebook Live, you can see every comment and you can see who's on. I cannot. I cannot. So, oh, you're working on your paper pumpkin. Oh, yay. I didn't even bring any with me, but I did bring half my studio. So if you haven't seen, go on Facebook. On my, I posted this morning or on my Instagram and I kind of showed you how I have things set up and um, I feel pretty good about this. There was a few things like I was looking at techniques and I thought, oh, I didn't bring my gilded leaf. Like, like I didn't bring any embossed, like no heat gun or anything like that. So, oh, some alternatives to the paper pumpkin. Oh, good. So, um, so yeah. So anyway, that's, that's, uh, I brought, I think I'm, I think I'm really good. I've got my, um, big shot here or my big shot, my stamp and cut and emboss and all my supplies. So hopefully it'll all work out because I'm planning on doing, even though I'm going to be in the sun a lot, I hope to, um, be here too because I love it so all right you got your pencil and paper so here you go you're gonna need a piece of cardstock I'm using whisper white but this is gonna be whatever you want half card half sheet of card it's uh, eight and a half by five and a half I'm just looking at my measurements so I should have put them up here so I'm not I'm not looking down but I'll put them over here then I can look in the face thing so you're gonna score that uh, so it can be folded in half uh, you're going to need a piece of um, solid cardstock that matches whatever designer series paper you have. Um, in my case, I'm using basic black and it's um, five by four. And then you're going to need a piece of designer series paper, your choice, whatever um, you're using. I'm using the Butterfly Bijou. It's four and a half by three and three quarters. Okay. And I'm going to see if I can prop that up. This is kind of on a long piece of paper, so I'm not sure it's going to work, but. Give me a second here. We'll prop it up there. Okay, so let me show you what the card's going to look like. Isn't this pretty? It's called an arrow card. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to make it. It's not hard, but it's so pretty gorgeous. Okay, so I'm happy that I'm going to have two. All right, so we're going to start by folding our um, folding and bone folding our base cardstock whisper white or basic white in this case and then we're going to do um, bring in our cutting scoring um, because we have to do a little marking so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this in the middle which is two and three quarters and what I like to do is just put it in my you can either um, do a little tick here or I like to use these uh, mechanical pencils and crank the pencil up you know so that I I can you know have plenty so I can make a little mark in my score thing. Then I'm going to turn it and at two and an eighth, two and one eighth, so it was two and three quarters here if you're keeping track, two and an eighth here and I'm going to mark on either side just a little tick. Okay, then I'm going to open up my card and I'm going to start scoring. So I want to score from the two and an eighth to this two and three quarters right here in the center of my card and I'm going to get this centered right in my score chamber there 
Let me make sure I'm right on and score that. Then I'm going to turn it and score it this way from my two and three quarters to my two and an eighth, making sure I'm right there in the chamber. So there's my first point right there. Can you see that? Okay. Then I'm going to start from the center point again, and I'm going to go up to these corners. Okay. So I'm going to do that for you just right from my um, center up to the fold. Sometimes I like to just hold that, but let's see. Okay. So it's starting to look a little bit like a sunburst. If it doesn't look like a sunburst, you probably didn't do it quite right. And just go get another piece of paper and do it again. Okay. So let me set this aside. I'm going to need it here in a minute, but let me set that aside and let's do the fold. So what you're going to do is you're going to, um, Fold these out, I think. Well, if I do it wrong, then we'll, we'll redo it. But nope, I think that's right. So you're going to fold this out like this. All right. Then you're going to fold this one in. Okay. Fold these in. So it should look like this. Put it down. I, I zoomed in and then I realized if I hold it up, you can't see it. So I'm going to use my bone folder. And the front of your card should look like this. Okay, and so when you fold it, so there's the basics of your fun fold. But there are some tricks to um, um, do your DSP in your um, cardstock. So um, now we're going to bring in our um, solid cardstock. And in this case, I use basic black. And you're going to mark the bottom at two and a half. So since this is, um, I'm just going to do a little tick with my... Um, scoring blade and I'm going to cut from this tick mark to this corner and the key is for this I'm gonna get it right on there is to keep this in puzzle order so um, again I'm gonna go from that center to this corner not hard just to just think ahead keep it all in place just like that then you're going to bring in your designer series paper and it's the same thing. You're going to mark the bottom now at two and a quarter. So write that down two and a quarter and I'm going to make a little tick on, I better use my pencil because I can't see that. Okay. And then I'm going to cut up from that tick to the corner. Making sure I'm right in that chamber. I'm going to lay that on there, <clears throat> see what I'm doing here, and then from this corner to this corner, cut, all right, and then you want to keep it on there. Now, it's ready to put on my base, so I can put, we'll start with the middle, and I'm going to use my liquid glue, hopefully, it was working a minute ago, and now, did I change this around? One was working. Well, we're going to get out the stampin' seal. I'm not even on camera for that anyway, right? We'll use a little stampin' seal. Now, when you put this on, it's not going to be a perfect layer. It's going to be a little wider. I'm going to show you this. Don't stress about it. Like, okay, look at that. It looks pretty good. Um, it is just a smidge wider here than it is down here. That's okay. When you get it all done, you're never going to see that. So set that aside. We're going to do the same here for these pieces. Trying to get it as centered as you can. If I had my liquid glue, I wouldn't have these little tails. I don't, I don't love those little tails, so. When you're in your studio and you're not on camera, I guarantee it's going to be way better for you. <laughs> much better. Much, much better. Okay, there's that side. I'm going to get that liquid glue going because I'm going to need it here in a minute. It was going a minute. It must be the Florida weather. That's what I'm going to blame it on. I'm going to get some down here on these tips. Learn from your mistakes, Emmy. Okay. So here's this, and then we'll attach it to our card. Like so. This one's going to go inside. 
right here. So pretty, get that adhesive off with my finger. And one here. What do you guys think? I haven't heard, I don't see any cheddar, just waiting to see if it's going to be worth it or not. It's not hard, but look how fast I'm putting this card together. I mean, seriously, just a few minutes. And you could think about all the stamps that you have in your um, hoarding. I mean, in your, oops, now look what I did. See, I, I turned it around. I don't, I think, I think that's right. Now I have to make sure. Okay, yeah. If it's not, you'll know if you turn it a different triangle because it's not perfect. So, see, again, okay, looking on the camera, your line is thinner here. And as it goes, it gets a little thicker. That's okay. That's okay. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's not going to be perfect. But when you look at the whole thing, when the butterflies are on, you never see that. You never see there's a man in my yard. Yes, there, there's a, someone is um, working on our air conditioner. So that's why we wanted to get down here is because we um, had the maintenance guy coming for the yearly maintenance. So I'm probably going to squeeze this right. This was working. Here it goes. I'm going to squeeze right out. You want to glue... Shoot. Okay, hold on. I'm going to get my little pokey tool. I don't have all my... Um, I'm going to put it down here just because I don't... If it squeezes out... Ah! Hey, this is uh, what happens when you're live. That's okay. I'm telling myself, that's okay. All right, let's mix the glue and go back to the adhesive. And adhesive this down. I didn't need the liquid glue. I just wanted the liquid glue. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. I want to make sure I'm not going over. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Oops, I did go over. All right. See how easy that comes off. That's okay. When you get this in the mail, you're never gonna see that. Okay. Did I go over here? No, pretty good. Okay, now it's time to decorate. So I went ahead and cut the paper, like I've shown you many, many times. I cut the butterflies out. Here they are. They're actually still in the die, so I'm just going to poke those out. And I like to um, pop them up with mini dimensionals. So I'm going to start with this green one, and I like to put three right down the middle. I'm going to make sure I'm on camera. Sorry about so I want to put three right down the middle and whoops, we don't want to take all of that off. Okay, and I like to give it a little bit of shape and then we're going to put that butterfly right here in the middle, making sure I'm not go. I don't want to go over. So I'm going to twist a little bit, make sure I'm not going over this edge because right I have to put it in an envelope and mail it. So there's my first one and uh, let's do this one here. couple. Give it some dimension and we want that one. Oh, we can go, we can go down over. Alright, and then we'll take this little one here. <laughs> I Tanya says she hopes um she, wait, I got distracted by killing time. Tanya said she hopes she wins this card because it's beautiful. And she, I know Tanya. Um, I've known Tanya for a long time. And I know this about Tanya. She loves butterflies. So I knew you would like this card, Tanya, because I know how much you love butterflies. Uh, where should I put it? I think, I'm thinking there. What do you think? That looks pretty good, right? If you don't like it there, then when you get it, you can rip it off and move it somewhere else, right? Tanya? <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm. It's seriously a random comment generator, so... Just don't think that if Tanya does win that I picked her because um, the computer picks. So, And then I like to take this big butterfly and I'm going to actually use dimensionals on it too. I'm going to use three because it's big. Oops. Okay. And I like to put it right in the middle up here on the point. You just have to make sure that you're not going over because then you'll see it on the front of your card. So you can go over here. And over here, as long as there's a butterfly there to cover it. And, and in my case, there is. So here's the card. 
Here's the fancy fold. It's called an arrow point card, an arrow point card. Um, I got the idea from Rachel Tessman. She had done it on her blog a couple years ago in 2019, and she used butterflies too, um, but it was before Butterfly Brilliance, so um, there's that. So let's do a little stamping, because what is it without stamping? And I'm going to turn this into a birthday card. So remember when I sent it to you, I haven't signed my name, so you can sign your own name and send it to someone that you love. And because it says today is great because it's all about you, the great person you are, and the great things that you do. And I think that about all of you. I wish I could send one to all of you. Well, I could, but it might take me a little while. So anyway, so that's the thing. And then, of course, it's a happy birthday. You know what? Maybe I won't put happy birthday on there. You guys put happy birthday if you want, because actually this card could be more than birthday if I leave it the way it is. So on this card, I added a happy birthday, and this card's going to go to someone very special to me um, that's having a birthday, and um, then this card will go to you, and you can decide um, if you want it to be graduation, or you want it to be Mother's Day, or you want it to be birthday. So how about if I just leave that greeting off, because I'm sure that you have something in your supplies, but let's give it a little bling. So I brought out my Artistry, Artistry Bloom sequins. I have a lot of this one color because I've used, so I'm gonna just bring out some uh, strange strips I have here, because I've used um, so much of these in the other colors. So I like to put, on these big butterflies, I like to put three little bling right down the center, and on these little ones, what did I pick? Yeah, I picked it up, but, nope, I picked up just the, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Um, and then I like to use just a couple of little ones on each of these. I'm going to look up here in a second and go back and look at your comments. So let me know or just keep commenting. So, and then on this one here, I'm going to use the um, blah, big one. And I've got two little ones. Oh, I guess I'm going to my fingers now. I have to fix this. You know how to do the take your pick tool. You um, squeeze it until it starts to come out and then you back it off um, just because that will just keep oozing out. And then I like to just give it a quick press with my finger and there now it's working like a charm. But it had, I had used it so much that, oh, there it took off the iridescent paper. Um, I'd used it so much that it had just lost its sticky. So there's the card right there. What do you think? Yes, it would be a great... Mother's Day. So let me go back and see if I missed anything. <laughs> I was talking to the random generator. Okay. Um, Kelly's got my stripper coming. Hey, it's crazy, but these, uh, this is an old, oh, I'll say a senior park. You know, you have to be 55 or, or older to be here. And uh, these people know how to party. Let me just say that. So, so don't you think that that will be out of line because they will enjoy it. So bring it on, Kelly. Bring it on. Bring it on. So there's the card called the arrow point card. And um, then I'm going to um, put up the uh, Butterfly Brilliance in, in case you want to order the bundle. Uh, Butterfly Bouquet is the name of the suite. Um, the, pa the paper, um, I found out I had told you wrong at one point. I'm going to put that card up there so it's not interfering. Um, I had told you wrong at one point. I had told you that the um, everything was available uh, continuing through the catalog. Uh, I was wrong. So the bundle is available. It will be available through the rest of the catalog. But the um, paper will not be. The paper is only available until it runs out. So once that, pa that Butterfly Bijou paper is gone or that wood paper is gone, it's gone. So if you want that paper, um, you want to stock up on it, um, Tanya, uh, go get it now so uh, because that I have an anticipation that that will um, sell out so there's the um, item number for that and here's my website createwithme.stampinup.net you can click on um, shop now and there's a current host code that I have open and um, of course um, like comment and share that helps me um, as I try to expand my business. Let me go back. I'm going to go back to, um, nope. I'm going to go back to my face. All right. I'm going to take that down, take a quick snapshot. And um, 
we'll just do a little chatting because it's about 11.35, so we're about at the end. Oh, hi, Linda. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that you like it. It's nice to have you on here. Thanks for joining me. So um, um, my, my daughter's, if she's watching, sometimes she um, teases me because I tend to just chit chat and say too much. So forgive me, but I was talking to my friend about um, my YouTube. So if you watch my YouTube channel or if you're a YouTube person, um, I am trying to increase my subscribers. So, um, you know, share and um, go on YouTube to create with me and, um, uh, subscribe to my channel so that when um, I do post the videos and um, today I get to post it right away um, because I actually have good internet and I don't have to drive up to the middle school in St. Joe to do it and then um, uh, I appreciate it so uh, if you like what you see um, comment so let's see so um, Mary Jo says go line I um, they play today today's Friday they play today so I'm super excited. They have been doing fantastic. The basketball team is, um, I say it's not um, uh, flying a line night caliber quite. Um, there, you know, that was my team. That was back in the 80s, um, right after I had, uh, well, I was done with school and I just, I was just starting to work and, and I was just getting married 87. So I got married and that was a flying a line. I, they had been labeled the flying a line. I, and so um, they're fantastic. This team is wonderful. Um, I owe the the one player. I love him. Uh, I like I, I like him. I I think he's I I've seen his family. I think they're a good family, and I think he's a good person. And I love to watch kids who um, set wonderful examples like that. So um, I wish him the best because I don't think he's going to be here as a senior. I think he's going to probably be um, snatched up. So. Um, so yeah, so yeah, chatting's okay. Thank you, Tanya, for giving me that. So we get to play today and we'll see how far we go. I hope we can go all the way. I-L-L. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Let's see, we have, this is Friday. I'm going to um, pick a random generator and send you this card, um, this card here. And um, then next Tuesday, um, so get on Create With Me and set your notifications. Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you. Sounds like you're well stocked. Yes, I'm, I'm good. I'm in, I'm in pretty good shape. I got, I got what I need. I can do a lot here. So I'm going to be working on some classes. I am. Uh, yes. Thanks, Eva. Appreciate it. Um, and then Tuesday, I'm going to do uh, Teach Me Tuesday. If there's something special you want to see, you know, I kind of plan at the last second. It's not because I don't care. It's because I just have so much information that I just don't know until the last second. I'm like, I don't know what to narrow it down. So if there's something that you want to see or learn about or don't know about, if I have it here, I want to show you. So if you have something for Teach Me Tuesday, then please um, send me a message or comment here and I will look at it. And then, um, I don't know, I'm going to take a couple days off. I got to do some tutorials and some video making and uh, uh, <laughs> your yacht arrived. Yeah, my yacht's pretty small. Oh, today's your daughter's birthday. Congratulations or happy birthday. Do you know what's happening in two days? Well, besides a big, you know, I don't know if my mom is still watching, my mother-in-law. Um, I call her my mom. She's been my mom longer than my mom was my mom now. It makes me cry thinking about it because I got really, really lucky. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop. I got really, really lucky in the mother-in-law department. Chuck's mom's a dear and I love everything about her. She's just wonderful. And um, she probably won't like it if I say this, but on Sunday she's turning 80 and you would never know it. You would think she was 60, and that, that's one of the things I love about her. Her dad was the same way. He just never stopped. He was just always going. And then maybe that's a secret. Keep going, everybody. Keep going, because um, that just helps stay, keep young. But also on Sunday, on Mom's birthday, um, is my 18th stamp anniversary with Stampin' Up! So um, we should do something special. Maybe I'll hop on. I don't know. Um, 18 years. I never dreamed it would be 18 years. I thought that um, time change. We have a time change? I didn't even know about that. So, oh my gosh, that's going to throw me. That's going to Marty on a time change. Maybe that puts me back. I don't know. Um, so anyway, 18 years ago, I joined Stampin' Up! 
I just wanted to get a discount on my supplies and um, I built it into a business. I love it and I'm starting to travel the world, which is amazing to me. And um, if you want to join my team, then um, I'd love to have you ask me about how and, and I'll get you some information. So uh, we totally love it. Yes, it's the best job in the world, Faith. You are absolutely right. Um, I love what I do. Um, there's not very often that I don't love it. I, I'm really blessed and lucky to do something creative. So um, so there you go. So I'm chattering now. I'm going to say goodbye from sunny Florida. Sunny South, South, what do they call this? The South West? No, I don't know. Southwest Florida, I guess. We're on the coast. So I'm the Gulf Coast. So, all right. I'm, oh, we're going to spring forward. I don't know what that's going to be. Uh, you should do an 18 to 80 special. Well, Kyla, message me some details on that because I think that sounds interesting, but I'm not sure what I would do with that because I can't think right now. But I'm going to ponder that because that sounds cute. All right, everybody. I'll see you later. Um, keep commenting after if you're coming in late. So I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.